Welcome back. You just heard about one group helping children succeed. Now here is another, this time creating safe after school community centers for kids all around San Francisco. And it's what the San Francisco Beacon Initiative has been doing for decades. In fact, they are celebrating a 20th anniversary this week. And please welcome the executive director of the Beacon Initiative, Pam Prodichit Demler. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So 20 years, what is the secret to uh, your success? It's, you know, an amazing opportunity we have to celebrate 20 years of beacons in San Francisco. We're a national model and really inspired by a vision from Commissioner Murphy in New York 20 years ago, where what would happen if we could imagine and reimagine school sites and turn them into vibrant hubs for the community? It was really this idea that we saw across the city in New York, schools were closed at three o'clock, kids were playing on the street. What would happen if we unlocked those doors, turned on the lights and created a beacon of hope? And I think we were so inspired in San Francisco, we brought that model back here um, and spread Beacon Cities across eight neighborhoods in San Francisco. Um, I think what sustained us over time is that, you know, for so long, we think about kids and sort of their troubles and their needs and what they're doing wrong. And I think beacons really shine a light on what they do right. Um, to find the bright spots in our communities and our kids and families to really inspire them. And I think that's why we're still here 20 years later, celebrating two decades of success. And I was checking out your Yelp pages or some of your different Yelp pages. Mm -hmm. I know there's eight different centers around around the city. And what struck me is it's not just an after school program. You really try to incorporate the whole community. There's mm -hmm. classes for adults at some of these centers yeah. as well. Absolutely. I think that schools, you know, we are much better together in our communities and kids can't do it alone. So we're much more than just after school. We're working and partnering with teachers during the day. We're opening up in the evenings for parents um, and getting community members really excited about opening the doors, coming into schools, and really changing not only the lives of children and families, but the life of this neighborhood and the vibrancy of the neighborhood. How do you pick what neighborhood you, you go to next? Yeah, I mean, it was really interesting, I think, when we began to think about what could Beacon look like in San Francisco. It was incredibly important that we knew where we were, where, where the kids were, where, where the needs were, um, and where we really had to find um, an opportunity to connect with um, the city across, right? We have one of the largest youth development programs that are coordinated in the Bay Area, and we serve over 10,000 children, youth, and families um, over the course of one year. And so for us, it was really about where are the needs um, that are the most, are the highest, and how do we really reach the community? Um, and uh, before we run out of time, I do want to make sure we touch on your 20th anniversary yes. celebration. If people want to go, you say it's open for anybody. Yes, so we're celebrating 20 years at a public event this Friday at City Hall. We're bringing the best of beacons to life with youth performances and are kicking off with a press conference. And it's really just to celebrate and honor um, and preserve a city that is really here for children and families, that we have to commit to supporting programs that work with our schools, because we really are better together when the public and private sectors work um, in cooperation and get kids ready to learn and families ready for success. Right, and I know you say that it's not really about helping troubled kids, but in some ways, I mean, this must keep kids off the street and, and out of trouble. Have you found that? Absolutely, but we always take this sort of asset-based approach, that there's a strength in every young person, and we want to ignite that possibility. I think when we all, when we were growing up, we are sort of wondering, what am I going to be? And, and it was really like the adults in our lives that encouraged us, that found that talent and strength, and then really created an opportunity to shine and do that. And so that's where I think we take a different approach as to really looking at what are the needs, um, but also what are the assets in our young people in our communities and really bring that out through workforce opportunities, job internships and skills. And what about that, that relationship you have with the schools where the community center is based? I would assume that that's a pretty yeah. dependent relationship in a lot of ways. you got to work is. together. It was one of the first models of how community partners and schools really work together. I mean, it was one, you know, public education funding is dwindling. And in California, we're facing a crisis around public education. And I think it's really important to sort of model what it looks like to have private organizations to have community members to really come in and it's tricky right you figure out how do we schedule classes how do we co-locate in this building but then truly partner and align so that we're working 
all together, all the adults for kids. That's great. Well, I hope you have a very successful next 20 years and beyond. And if you want to go to that anniversary celebration in San Francisco Civic Center, uh, just get more information about San Francisco Beacon Initiative. You can check out sfbeacon.org. All the information is right there on their homepage. We'll be back with more Bay Sunday right after this break.